Well, a security camera captures a burglar breaking into a Kansas City home and stealing valuables from inside. We first showed you this video as police asked for help to identify the suspect. This was earlier in the week. Only on 41 Action News, reporter Nick Starling spoke exclusively with that homeowner as he waits for police to find and arrest the suspect. I only noticed that something was amiss when I came home. Daniel Cherian couldn't believe what he saw when he came home on November 14th. His home wasn't the way he left it. Just unusual to say the least. And so I asked my wife and um, she was like, well, maybe you should check the cameras. And here's what they saw. You can see a man go to the front door. It's locked. He then headed to the back door. Yep, it's locked too. So the suspect stood on the railing, climbing onto the balcony. He then kicked in the door to get inside. From another camera on the inside, he came down the stairs with their little dog there, rummaging through the Cherian's things, and he took a backpack full of items and left out the front door. I was angry. You know, I was very angry about the whole thing. Taking a closer look at the suspect, Cherian recognized the guy. This guy actually came to our house unsolicited, initially offering to rake our leaves. Turns out he was probably casing our house at that time. So here's what the man tried to take. He first opened this brown box. To him, it was probably the least valuable thing was that makeup that my wife had bought. But then the suspect did find some valuables. He stuffed into a backpack worth around $20,000. He took a lot of jewelry. Um, uh, laptop computers. Shireen and his wife have lived here for three years and never had a problem, but they were proactive because they installed these cameras, which will help police identify who did this. Part of it's us just being very practical about things, but yeah, it, it was certainly helpful. The suspect also took the Shireen's sense of security in their own home. It's unsettling in that, like, I feel a little uncomfortable, you know, going for a run or, you know, leaving the house. I don't know what I would do to the guy if I see him, you know? I, you know, I feel like I was violated. Reporting in Kansas City, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.